to the channel. I'm Dennis. I hope you're well. Today's video is about your six pack. And yes, you do have a six pack underneath possibly that layer of fat that everybody keeps asking me about. So that's the reason for the video today. I want to talk about three things when we deal with a six pack or having a nice abdominal area, nice belly, slim and trim stomach. I want to talk about human anatomy, human physiology and nutrition as they relate to how we're going to make this stomach area look better for you. Now, human anatomy is going to refer to the muscular. And believe it or not, everybody probably has a sufficient amount of muscle mass on the rectus abdominis already. You just can't see it <laughs> because you have that layer of fat over the top. But how do we how do we gain more muscle? Well, I'll tell you this. Don't knock yourself out doing a ton of abdominal work. As I said, most people already have enough muscle mass. But do continue to do your crunches, your ab work, your sit-ups, and, and your various knee strikes when you're in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a vertical standing position to work your abdominal wall. Go through the same routine. It's a muscle just like any others. Consume your proteins, get enough rest and recovery, and the muscle will grow. What's more important is number two, and that's the human physiology, as it refers to the storage of body fat. Now, physiology refers to the functioning systems inside your body. And we want to make sure that those systems are functioning optimally with the highest uh, amount of performance. And we're pulling from that fat using the stored subcutaneous adipose tissue as a fuel source when we're exercising. So what that essentially means is when we train at a lower heart rate, uh, we're pulling predominantly from that body fat and using it as a fuel source to burn calories. That's the beautiful thing about, about losing weight and trying to get rid of body fat. You can literally use that same body fat as a fuel source to get rid of itself, to deplete itself. And we do this predominantly in a lower heart rate. Now you can burn body fat at a higher intensity or a higher heart rate. Well, studies show that we burn more body fat as a fuel source, we use more fuel, uh, body fat as a fuel source when we're at a lower intensity. And you can check your heart rate monitor, just wear your heart rate monitor to, to bed tonight and wake up eight hours later and, and, and look at the data and it'll show that you probably pulled 65% of your calories from body fat as a, as a fuel source. So uh, we want to, of course, we, when we're trying to get rid of this body fat, we, we, we really do want to mix it up. We want to do a combination of high intensity and low intensity, but you want to stay, for the most part, in a lower intensity, steady state. Don't knock yourself out. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. People re really, uh, they really beat themselves up about, about their stomach, their belly. Um, don't train so hard. Don't. Don't think that you need to do this high intensity, crazy stuff. You really don't. Go for a walk. I mean, that's as simple as that. And, and if the walk is too slow, you're not burning enough calories, let's say in 40, 50, 60 minutes, just pick up your pace a little bit more. And I like to burn about 500 calories a day with my clients if they want to lose uh, one, two, 300 grams of body weight uh, per day. So don't knock yourself out. A lower intensity is going to pull more uh, from your body fat as a fuel source. And that's really what happens. It's important for you guys to know this. That your body fat that you have, you want to get rid of, is your fuel source that propels your body to burn the calories. So use it to burn it. Train in a lower heart rate zone, but definitely mix in some high intensity. And you will deplete that layer of subcutaneous body fat. That's what it's called underneath the skin, subcutaneous body fat or adipose tissue. Now, uh, I want to talk about number three really quick, that nutrition. And when you talk about <laughs> why is that fat even there in the first place? Well, the body fat is being stored there because you ate and, and drank too many sugars. I mean, that's where body fat comes, uh, comes from. Now, I'll talk about um, I'll talk about nutrition uh, a little bit more than I talk about fitness because when you're talking about this area of the rectus abdominis or the stomach, you want to talk about, um, <laughs> that's, where we, that's where we store fat. So you want to talk about how did it get there? Why am I storing it here? Well, that's just, we're, we're especially with diabetics, type 1, type 2 diabetes. You will store more body fat uh, in, the, in the belly region. 
So uh, nu nutrition as it relates to body fat uh, has to open up that can of worms of sugar. Stop it. Absolutely. Stop consuming sugar. You mean all together? Yeah. Why? What's the point? Uh, like, look, we know it's not, it's not good for you. It's only going to lead to fat storage. It just creates a whole host of other unhealthy uh, issues with your, uh, with your body. So, uh, cut it out. And the drinks, cut it out. The only thing you need to be drinking is water. So if you can cut out those sugars, if you can train in the correct heart rate zones, you're going to get rid of that belly fat. And you're going to have that six pack. It's not going to come in one week. It's not going to come in three weeks. It's probably going to take you about five or six weeks and you'll really start to see this, this six pack come in. But just to recap quickly, guys, human anatomy, that is the muscular. Keep doing your crunches. Keep doing your sit-ups. I do have videos about that that I can leave links to. Number two, human physiology. And that is uh, the performing and functioning systems of the inside of your body, your organs, and, uh, and most notably your heart rate. Train in the proper heart rate zone so that you can use this fat as a fuel source. And that's going to be most notably a lower heart rate. Don't knock yourself out. Go for some walks. Then number three, nutrition. And I'm just going to keep it simple. Cut out the sugars. We'll just start with that. Cut out the sugars and you won't have anything going into fat storage. So there you go, guys. Very quick video on how to bring in your six pack. I hope that helps.